Backyard Prepper and today we're going to be doing a review of a pair of night vision we bought off Timu because we can't afford to spend hundreds of dollars on some of the higher quality night vision so we figured we'd try this out. We got this and a bunch of outfits for the wife and it was like 36 bucks. This one is from the Shenzhen Corporation. So Chinese night vision. So we'll see how it does for a $36 night vision. So we're opening it up. Got a little user manual. Looks like a little lens cleaning cloth. Carry strap. That's the unit itself. Okay, looks like it charges with a USB-C cable. And, huh, micro SD card reader. So it means that we should be able to record anything that it captures. Got a little cloth protective bag. So here's the unit. Looks like it's got a screen and this is the input. So I'm assuming we'd hold it like this. Don't have nails, so this is a little hard to get out. There we go. Yeah, there's a little slot over here for an SD card, and then that looks like that's the charging port for the USB-C. So, since we just got took this out of the box, more than likely we're going to have to charge it up a little bit before we can use it. And it's also daytime out. It's about... I'd say quarter to five right now here in Las Vegas well, when we're filming this. So sun's out, it's nice and bright outside, so this won't do us any good anyways. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this charged up, wait for it to get dark, and once it gets dark, um, we'll take a look at it and see how it does. Okay, so now that it's dark out, we're going to take these out and try them out, see how they do. I um, off camera, just kind of fiddled with the settings a little bit, just kind of played with it a little bit. So we're going to now take it outside and test it and see how it does um, in the backyard. We're going to turn off the lights and everything and close the blinds so we don't have any light pollution coming from the house. Let's go out. So there's going to be a little bit of light pollution. Can't help that. You know, we got neighbors and stuff. But it should at least give us an idea of what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to turn off the porch light and we're going to try this out. Okay. Ooh, that's bright. So, we're going to come over here, and as you can see, there's the lights from our garden. Mm. And if you look, it's very dark. But this makes it look, see if we can get that on camera there. There we are. Makes it look like it's daytime. So for a little $36 night vision, it actually does pretty good. And let's see, it looks like there's, yeah, there we go. You, you can adjust the focus. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so that's really cool. That right there is the mountain behind our house, which without the night vision, you can't even see it. But with the night vision, let me get centered back up. Tree, just to the left of the tree, you can see the peak of the mountain. It's not really coming through very well on the camera. Oh, there you go, you can see the side of the mountain there. And some over there, and then the neighbor's tree. But that's completely, I can't even see it with the naked eye. But with the night vision, I can see the mountain. So that's really cool. So f for those of you who are, you know, have to really be careful about budget and everything. That's a really cool thing with the with this. Now, are these as good as the tactical ones? Probably not. So we're gonna go back inside, and I'll wrap up. Okay, so we're back inside um, in my favorite chair, or where I sit on the couch, I should say. Um, I'm going to play with them some more. I might do a short later um, if I see anything else or have anything else to say about them, but this initial test in the backyard, um, you know, actually pretty cool. Um, so these are the Timu, a Timu purchase. I'm not a big fan of Timu myself, but the wife loves it, so. Um, but I have to be honest, they performed far better than I was expecting. Um, 36 bucks on Timu, and you know, I was able to see the mountain, which at nighttime you can't see with the naked eye. Um, it made my backyard as bright as daylight through the viewfinder. Now, one downside is, is if you are trying to be secretive with it, you're not going to be able to. This display is bright. I mean, you can probably see it's lighting up my face. Um, so if you're trying to hide or be covert, need operational security, you're going to need to be careful because you're going to be able to see your target but if your target's looking at you, they're going to see you. Um, what I'm thinking I might do is make like a shroud or a hood or something. Um, like some elastic to where it can like go around. That way then you can like pull it up over your head and, you know, look through. That way then it doesn't compromise your operational security. Um, that's an easy fix, a little bit of fabric and some elastic um, from the craft store. Fix that right away. Um, so far, that's the only downside I've seen with these. Let's turn that off. Um, you know, like I said, they are by far not the best out there. Um, I haven't had a chance to try... Um, you know, some of the better night vision that's out there. Um, so if there's any um, organizations out there that would like me to promote their product or something, um, want to sponsor some of my videos, you know, I'm open. I'm game. Um, now, in all seriousness, no, though, everybody, for what they are, they actually perform really well. And for those of us who are very budget con conscious, I should say, um, if it comes down to not having night vision at all or having to go with something like this, go with this. Something is better than nothing. 
Okay. Um, you know, take care of your of your major preps: food, water, protection, energy production. Things like this are for security. Security you would include other things, you know, kinetic projectile weapons, that kind of thing, and things like this. So, if you're on a tight budget like me, this will work perfectly, especially if you're not a, if you're not anticipating any kind of direct threats. So, here, um, you know, everybody just keep chugging. We're going to be doing some videos out in the backyard soon. Um, our garden's coming up. I took some pictures and I'll be posting those tomorrow on my Instagram. Um, so go find us on Instagram, Vegas Backyard Prepper. We're on Instagram. We've got a Facebook page and then of course right here on YouTube, Vegas Backyard Prepper. Subscribe to our videos. Like, you know, like the videos. It helps us out a lot. Comment, share with your friends. Let everybody know about us and you know, help our channel grow and also if you have any suggestions anything you'd like to see us take a look at um any you know if there's anything you would like our thoughts on drop a comment you know down in the comment section below i read every comment i will respond to the comments um you know this is a small family operation here we don't have a big production crew so um help us out Subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and that's going to be it today for Vegas Backyard Prepper.